Hi guys, hello, 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 hello. Try to set this camera out. Boom, I think I'm ready to film. <laughs> okay, hi guys, good day, and welcome to today on Princess Annie TV. Hope you're doing fine, great, and yes, um, kind of out, like, and that's why I have to keep wearing this. <laughs> okay, 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 let's discuss. I want us to talk about the difference between a flight school and an aviation school because I think a lot of you are mixing things up and when I mean mixing things up you guys are getting it kind of like confused like what's especially those people that are asking or whether do you require jam or you don't require jam you guys are mixing things up so let's clear the air first of all in case you don't know me my name is Princess Anu and yeah I'm done with my flight training Thank you so much guys for following me through my journey i really appreciate it and i am looking forward to a bright career like trust me i'm going to keep you guys updated of course that's why we are here <laughs> so that you know uh okay what am i going to do next well anyways that's by the way that's not the topic for today <laughs> school or a flying school you're going to say you do basically flying piloting so in a place like nigerian college of aviation technology we have a flight school and it's also an aviation school and now i'm going to be using nigerian college of aviation technology to explain what i mean by a flight school and an aviation school an aviation school comprises of a lot of things like you have flying you have engineering you have aircraft uh, maintenance engineering you have marshalling you have cabin crew you have um, uh, air traffic control you have a lot of other things incorporated in an aviation school and that's why it's called an aviation school you see even me personally before i came into nigeria college of aviation technology i was thinking you don't even have a flight school in nigeria at all that yeah where can you ever go and fly in nigeria like I never knew that there was a place that you can actually come to and you fly and you know like that kind of a thing in a place like nigeria but this thing is real it's happening and also this is the way you have it in several other places there are places that only have flight school they don't have aviation school and there are places that have aviation schools um, but they don't even fly but majorly you get an aviation school that must have that must comprise of a flight school in it but you can get a flight school that is not an aviation school if you get me so this is it most of the time in an aviation school you have flying and flying on its own you basically do get an spl which is a student pilot license you get a ppl which is a private pilot license you will also get your commercial pilot license which will include most of the time you can also go for that to do your instrument rating and your multi-engine rating so when you're talking about writing jam or no writing jam especially in a place like nigeria for flying for coming for flying like you want to become a pilot to a place uh for flying nigeria you don't need jam jam is not required because all of us know that jam is the joint admission matriculation board that if you want to go to a university you're going to be needing it but for flying and that's why the basic uh you don't need you're not coming for a university it's a license course they're not going to give you a degree they are going to give you a diploma yes they're going to give you a diploma saying you have a commercial pilot license with instrument and multi engine rating. at least that's what my certificate carries that you have a diploma but it's a license course you don't get maybe an offer credit or a higher or a yeah upper credit lower credit pass all those things that they do in the university you don't do all that in a flight school because it's not a certification it's not a certificate kind of thing it's a license and like you know a license has and it can have an expiry date a license can have a period of time and a license can have what makes it valid like this makes your license valid and like you know for flying your medicals make your license valid and license lasts for a number of years that you have to renew or you have to do one or two things anyways to make that license usable but now for an aviation school like now in NCAT you can see courses like OND, HND, ND yeah there's OND then they do ND then there's HND and there is even uh, lic other license courses and you can also see some other small small certification courses 
you have this in an aviation school and that's why NCAT is not just a flight school it's an aviation school in case you don't get to do the flying part you can also get to do maybe uh, standard flight operation or you can get to do the cabin crew course or you can get to do uh, uh, air traffic control course but you know the air traffic control course you don't come on your own it's not an individual based stuff it's something that is under a regulatory body and that body most of the time is nama nama or maybe you come under the military or you come under um other body anyways there are a lot of body not a lot but there are just few bodies that you can come under before you can come and do the air traffic control course so guys these are some things i need you to know about the flying school aviation school and all that so basically for flying you don't need jam but any other course that you want to come under maybe under in aviation school you have to go online and find out does this course actually require me to come in with jam or does it require me to just come in with my o level and when i'm talking about o level i'm talking about the basic five credits that you have passed so this is uh, these are some of the things i think we should uh, clarify so that when i leave some comments in the comment section replying some of your messages you don't get even more confused <laughs> some people say when i explain a lot like they get confused and all that i'm so sorry but i think i love the teaching part you know the talking part you know but don't worry you'll be seeing more flying videos Thank you.